You just shot your first big event and you went a little crazy on the burst mode on your camera, just spraying and praying to get the perfect shot. And now you come home to offload your card and bam, you have over a thousand photos you have to call, curate, edit, and most importantly, get back to your client in a timely manner. What are you going to do? How are you going to do it? And most importantly, how are you going to make this workflow efficient? Because time is money. Okay, so what do you need to make this happen? I have actually started to incorporate Photo Mechanic into my workflow. I really do enjoy the product and it is super fast. I'll just show you. So let's hop on the computer here. So we're going to open Photo Mechanic. I have Photo Mechanic 6 here. I did try the trial version. I think it gave me 30 days. And then I went out and bought it. I want to say it was like 100 120 maybe $150. But, you know, we're talking about workflow here. And time is money. And I think it's already saved me whatever I paid for it. We're in Photo Mechanic here. I know these are on my desktop. This is a charity hockey event that I shot yesterday. If I open this up, I have 1,053 photos from this shoot. Once you're in Photo Mechanic, the first thing that I did, just because of how I use Lightroom typically, is I went up to the settings. And I went to Accessibility down at the bottom. And here, there is a single key shortcut for color classes or five star ratings. I typically use the five star ratings in Lightroom. So that by default, I believe color classes are set. You can use that if you so choose. But I changed this to uh, sets the rating. So that means when I'm going through these images, I can set one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to set a star rating, either one star all the way to five star. Zero will obviously knock it out. And that's how I'm going to call this first set of images. It's going to quickly allow me to go through over a thousand images in no time. So once you have that set, you can click on this first image, hit the space bar, and it's going to bring up a preview. And you'll see if I hit the down and up arrows, I can breeze through these images very quickly. If I need to zoom in, you can just hit the Z key to check focus. Just with two hands, you'll be able to quickly go through arrow key, Z key to zoom in, to see if you have focus, and then one, two, three, four, five to set a rating. Once again, I'm just going to go through and give everything a one star rating that I want to keep, and then we'll move on to the second part of this here. It's 855 right now, but we'll go through these quick, and then I'll meet you back on the other side when I have these rated to go on to the next step. All right, we are back quickly, you know, maybe about 10 minutes, roughly 10 minutes I took to go through over a thousand photos. It's very quick. I'm going to show you this is how quick it is. I'm just going arrow up and just going one, 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 one. If I want it, leave it off. If I don't, if you hold down on the arrow, it gives you kind of a cool video effect. And this is what I use for some of the reels that I put on my Instagram. I shoot just stills and then, but if you stitch them together, it makes it look like a video. It kind of gives you an idea of which ones you would want to keep and which ones you wouldn't. This one's cool because it's just the goalie. And if I go through, you can see the puck coming in. He deflects it. I know I'll probably use that in a vertical crop and it's going to be a pretty dynamic little cut for a reel. Long story short, it took me 10 minutes to go through very quickly photo mechanic. Give it a try. Once again, it's not sponsored. If I like something, I'm going to tell you guys about it. Where do we go from here? If we escaped out, if you click this on, it's going to say hide no star ratings. So everything here is everything that I want to import into Lightroom. So this is how I usually operate. Imagine once again that these are on my card currently. I'm going to control all these guys or command all to get them highlighted, go to file, and then we're gonna go ingest. So when you use ingest in Photo Mechanic, and when you use Photo Mechanic in general, there's a lot that this tool and this application can do. I'm not even gonna scratch the surface here today. I just use it to quickly go through my images, rate them, add a little bit of metadata, and then import them into, or ingest them into my hard drive, which will then import into Lightroom. So we've got our selection. We're gonna set our primary destination of where we want these to go to. You can see this is already on my external hard drive in Photos 2023. So all I'm gonna do is create a new folder, 2023-03-11, and it was Charity Hockey, and hit Create. So that's gonna be our primary destination. Here it gives you the option to set a secondary. Once again, we're not scratching the surface here, we're just going easy peasy. Here is where things do kind of get interesting. I'm going to open the metadata template, and this is where I was shooting. This is just a Charity Hockey Event Monroe Slice Arena. And then I have my own information down here, but you can add the metadata in here to these images right from the get-go. I'm going to close this. Here is where you can set the renaming if you want to rename it, and I will. I'm just going to call this Hockey for now. Sequence, we're going to reset the sequence. We're not going to do anything else, and then we're just going to hit ingest. So all this is doing is it's going to apply that metadata. It's going to copy the photos from the current location, which should be your memory card or wherever, onto my hard drive, and then we're going to hop into Lightroom. So we're going to let this ingest. Uh, oh, what the heck? I made a mistake. Usually it would be from disk. So I had disk selected. So that would be your SD card. Because I already copied these onto my desktop, I think I got to do folder. Actually, let's just do from selection. That solves all of our problems. I'm dumb. Let's see if this works now. And just so now this is what's going to happen. It's going to copy these onto the hard drive. While it's doing that, I do want to show you the difference that this makes here. If we just go and look at the size of this folder, so this is all 1,000 
53 photos. It's 60 gigs. Here's the thing with this. When you use a process like this, it's going to save you time and it's also going to save you space because a lot of those photos I'm not going to use. They're garbage. They're out of focus. The composition isn't great. So it's going to cut down on the file sizes or the folder size that we import into our catalog and our hard drive. So once this is done, we're actually going to open up Lightroom and I'm going to go to the import dialog. I'm going to actually go to my hard drive because it's already on here and my photos, 23, charity. We're just going to do the add because we don't have to copy anything. They're already on my hard drive, so I'm just going to hit add. Here's where some of the magic happens. I already know I've shot in this arena. I actually have a preset that I will apply to all these photos on import. Metadata, I'm not going to do anything, and I'm not going to add any keywords for now. I can always add that later. So hockey starting points, that's just a starting point. This might not look good for these photos right away, but then we're just going to hit import. And then Lightroom's going to do its thing. So I can already tell that my develop settings are probably... Yeah, those are pretty harsh. So that's something that we'll clean up. But very quickly, in the matter of 15 minutes, I went through a thousand images, I cut them down, I'm importing them, and they already have kind of a baseline edit applied to them. I mean, that's mind boggling. The cool thing about Lightroom is, even though this stuff is going on, you can still operate while it's doing that. It already imported, it's just finishing up some of the other operations in the background. So I'm gonna go into the develop tab. The first thing I need to check, this is the, this is the, problem here. So a few things are happening here. If you've not seen my one of my latest uh, tutorials on linear profiles, go check it out here. This is a problem that keeps happening and I don't know what it is Adobe, but it defaults to Adobe Color. I want to change this to my linear color. And you can see the difference that that makes. So that was a bug that I talked about in that video. Can you guys hear that? That's my computer working hard. <laughs> Okay, so this is our baseline edit now. Uh, once again, that profile, that linear profile, for whatever reason, it's buggy, it doesn't always apply. I apply that and it instantly fixes the colors that we got going on here. I'm just gonna do some baseline edits here. So if you're new to Lightroom, don't be scared. I'm gonna hit Command C, it's gonna bring up this thing. What do you wanna copy? I wanna copy everything except my cropping. I'm gonna hit copy. The other thing that we could do actually, that is easier in this instance, is if you select the first item that you've edited and then you go down and select all of them, you can hit sync. And then you can select which items you want to sync. And I'm gonna sync everything except the crops, which once again is irrelevant. And we're gonna synchronize these. And you can see I cut down 1,053 images to 386 in 10 minutes, guys. If you're not using something like Photo Mechanic, you gotta go through and call these images because it's gonna save you time and it's gonna save you space on your hard drives. Photo Mechanic, check it out, not sponsored. It is a game changer in my opinion because it is so fast and it just allows you to save time and money. Let's see if the size here now. We're gonna check the size. So we went from 60 gigs to 22, which makes sense because we pretty much cut down the folder by about a third. My number one rule to set photographers up for success in this is their mindset. So always under promise over deliver. Now what do I mean by that? When you finish a shoot, when you're still there with the client, you should already know what your week or next few weeks look like and you give them a high ballpark. So if I know I'm not that busy, I'm going to say you should expect your images in seven to ten days. And then bam, if you turn them around in a day or two, you knock their socks off. And you look like a hero. This allows you as the photographer to establish this great connection with your client based on the foundation of confidence, trust, and excitement. Here's a bonus tip. If they email back or contact you back and say, wow, that was fast, that was so quick. This is a great opportunity to just let them know that, hey, I was excited at the shoot and I saw these photos and I just had to get them edited. It makes them see the excitement in you and it's gonna establish that connection where they wanna work with you again. With photography, you have to enjoy the whole process from the shoot to calling the images to editing the images to delivering them to your clients. The problem with most photographers, especially those photographers that are just starting out is they don't know the workflow and they don't know where to start. But you're in luck because you're in the right spot. If you want to join the photography community that we're growing here on YouTube, then go ahead and subscribe down below. And as always, if you have any comments comments, questions, feedback, or corrections, leave them in the comments. I do read them all. Peace out, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Uh, did we do it? Did we do it?